If you are using Stream Deck Pedal, then you'll probably know that you can create multiple different profiles so that you can have more than just three actions that you can control from the pedals. Um, but if you are switching profiles by going into the Stream Deck app, then you may be missing a trick because we can actually switch profiles on the pedal from a desktop Stream Deck. And so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. Uh, and then also how you can work this into a multi-action when you are switching between different work states as well. So let's just come straight over into the app itself. Uh, and here we've got, uh, this happens to be the profile for me recording this right now in uh, Stream Deck XL. So I'm gonna come out of here. This is my sort of home profile. And then here, what you'll see is I've got this one here to basically switch between my pedal profiles. So I'm gonna come into this one here, and this is basically just now a profile on the Stream Deck XL uh, that contains switches for profiles on the pedals. Um, so basically here we've got one for when I'm recording uh, things for Amazon. Uh, here's one for Zoom, for Discord, uh, for some stuff that I do with Ecamm Live, for Take One Tech, for live streaming, uh, for uh, things that I do with multi-camera angles in Ecamm Live as well. And then this is one for when I'm recording some course content for a course that I've been working on recently as well. So these are just a few different uh, profiles that I can have for the pedal. Uh, and all we're gonna do, it's so simple, is just use the switch profile action in Stream Deck. Uh, I know a lot of people are already aware of this, but uh, some people aren't aware that you can actually switch profile on a secondary device from a uh, your sort of main device or from another device. Uh, so it's just in this Stream Deck section here, uh, and you'll see we've got switch profile. And incidentally, that's how I switch between my sort of home profile and this profile. I've done a whole video all about why I think profiles are better than folders, by the way. So I'll uh, leave a link to that in the description. Uh, but it's just this action here, which is switch profile. Now the default for it is to uh, basically just keep switch profile on the current device and you'll get a drop down here to be able to select which profile you want. Uh, but you can actually just come in here and select any other device that you've got, any other Stream Deck that you've got uh, connected to the computer. So here we'll just select Stream Deck pedal uh, and then I could just come in here and change to a different profile if I wanted. So how does that actually look in practice? Well, what I'll do is I'll just come out of here and I'll uh, show you with a top-down shot so that you can see exactly what is going on. If I bring this up here, uh, then I'll come in and change here to uh, my Stream Deck pedal. So if I go back into that profile on Stream Deck, this is the profile that we were just looking at. So just down here, <laughs> where we've got the basically those eight different uh, profiles that I had uh, selected uh, on the pedal. And now what you'll notice is as I press these buttons, then the uh, pictures over on this side, uh, over here for the uh, what's actually been operated by the pedal is changing. So I'm changing what the uh, actions are on the pedal by pressing the buttons on here. So it just makes it really easy to go in and uh, quickly change from one profile to another. Uh, so sometimes I actually have sort of multiple sets of um, uh, pedal actions in a specific profile for on Zoom, for example, I might have some where it's where I'm not speaking, maybe it's just a mute uh, camera on off and things like that. Uh, but then if I'm doing presenting in Zoom, I might just flick over to another profile where I've actually got some more controls over, you know, other aspects of the call or the presentation or things like that. So there's lots of different ways you can use this. Uh, but you can also uh, to uh, just have an extra little trick in here is to include this as part of a multi action for when you are actually switching over to a particular use case that you might have. So if I just come back out of here, I'm going to select my Stream Deck XL again. Uh, and come back into here for you with one second. There we go. Uh, get rid of that one. And so what we could do here is if I come into uh, this one, just because we've got a bit of empty space, I could right click on here, create a multi action. Uh, and then within this multi action, uh, let's say that I had a zoom profile on my regular stream deck, and I also have a zoom profile on my pedal, then I could actually just switch to both of those at the same time, come in here, switch profile, we'll drag two of those on the first one is going to be for the uh, the current device. And I've got one in here called zoom somewhere. There we go, that one. And then if I come into this one, and then the device, I'm gonna select Stream Deck Pedal. And then here, I'm gonna select Zoom. So now it's doing those two things simultaneously. When I press the button, it switches both profiles of both devices. Uh, and then you could even have it doing something like, you know, even opening Zoom or opening any other applications. So you can incorporate it as part of your sort of overall uh, workflow. So that's how I'm using uh, the switch profile command to, or action I should say, in Stream Deck to control um, my Stream Deck pedal and my main Stream Deck, in fact, as well. Now I mentioned about how I much prefer profiles 
two um, uh, sort of folders in terms of organizing my Stream Deck. And in fact, that has been my most popular video, the video that I did all about how to organize your Stream Deck with profiles. So I'll leave a link to that video over here and uh, you want to check that out if you haven't already.